Hi everyone and welcome to Antonia Orchids. Look at this picture and think of what you see. You may see a small hill, so perfectly shaped in the middle of nowhere. Well, actually it is not a hill. This is a magnificent tree and I will share its story with you thanks to the footage I received from my brother who is currently traveling around this zone. The tree is planted in a ranch near San Marcos, a small town located at the northern part of Colombia in the Caribbean region. Therefore, it is known as the San Marcos tree. Although there are many different stories about its origins, research suggests that this specimen is a gigantic tree made by six original divisions. How can it be? It has been told that in 1964, a landowner requested his workers to plant a yellow cedar next to a lake. The workers, trying to accomplish his patron's orders, obtained a small planted of the type of tree he was requesting, but they also thought it might be a good idea to fence it in order to protect it from cows and cubs. They gathered six branches from a rubber tree and placed them around the cedar plantlet. What the workers didn't know was that the six branches belonged to the species Ficus aurea, also known as Floria strangler fig. In figs of this group, the plantlet holds to a host and lives as an epiphyte until its roots establish contact with the ground. After that, it enlarges and strangles its host, eventually becoming a free-standing tree in its own right. Therefore, not only the small cedar tree could establish and grow, but so did the six branches of the fig, taking the cedar as host and devouring it in the end. With time, they also entangled and integrated in the shape of a monumental tree. San Marcos tree is around 30 meters tall. It has a diameter of 82 meters and a circumference of 253 meters, while its main trunk has a circumference of more than 15 meters. There are also many aerial roots growing from the branches to the ground. Once they establish, they become strong parallel vertical structures that help supporting the branch's weight. Visitors tell that the tree has a kind of natural entrance that resembles the shape of a cavern. Once you're in, you realize that the tree provides an interesting microclimate, way different than the extreme heat away from the shadow. Also, the acoustic beneath the branches allows hearing the magnified singing of birds that live inside the tree. This tree is often mistaken as the guacari tree. Guacari, named after an indigenous term, is a small town located in the southwestern part of Colombia, and it is known for having hosted a huge salmon tree in its center square until its death in 1989. That tree became famous nationwide for appearing in the design of one of our coins which was made as a posthumous tribute for the emblematic symbol of Huacari. However, even many local inhabitants of San Marcos believe that their tree is the one from their coins, and even name it as Huacari. Perhaps it may be better to differentiate both trees for their singular stories and to give San Marcos tree the place and tribute it deserves in its own right. 
So let's take a look at this beautiful work of Mother Nature. I would like to thank my brother for sharing this wonderful footage and I hope you enjoyed the view and story of this humongous tree, which is also a symbol of beauty. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more wonderful plants!